Yeah, I just let you know that the underground is large and we everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Cold doing it. Now we gonna go check out King T, Dress Sky. Everybody in here, go talk to Greg, go talk to you to see exactly what's happening and what's going on. I also want to give a big shout out right here down to Underground Nation. We got Mr. Egg right in the house. Uh, easy, a mother of E. Motherfucking E. Down with 187 above the law. Above the law, most definitely house. We got cocaine over here kicking it. That's right. We got the infamous. MC Ren over here. Got Go here. Mac with the motherfucking sack. Go Mac saying. over here. Fellas, give a shout out in the background there. Sell them sing. Just got you coming up off stage, blowing up and everything and whatnot. Uh, easy. Do this for me, man. Underground. Do this for me here, man. Underground. You got us down here with with a uh, great man. Chilling. But on a serious tip, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying? We out here trying to do something positive, you know what I'm saying? Because we get too much negative flat. We don't give a goddamn, excuse me. Since we on TV, you know what I'm saying? Since I'm way over here, uh, 187. Now, what's the next name of y'all next single coming out? And Mad Proper's on the Bug the Law because y'all dope. What's your next single? Call it what out, you man? want. You can call it. Call it what you want. That's what call you want. it what you want. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, who hooked up to production on that? I did, along with my group. Man, my phone, oh, man. Pimp yeah. Clinic. It's featuring um, Tupac, Pop, Money B. Yeah. yeah, it's like that funk, it's like that Black Mafia thing. We got a song on our album with Red too. We got a song on our album with Red. With E, with Coca. Yeah. Process of Elimination. The real nigga number one. Game recognized game. Yeah. We yeah. No problem. Take that camera out of here. Red. Do me a favor, man. Tell me what you think about the brothers that are coming out of South Central nowadays, the new rappers coming out. What's your opinion? All right, man. Been letting all y'all have it. Tell them the real. There's too many of y'all motherfuckers. There's too many whack rappers out now, man. I think a lot of rappers need to go home and just think. If it's somebody, if it's a group out doing something already, don't go out and try to copy it, you know? Because if I'm watching videos and I see somebody trying to be like somebody, I turn the channel. So y'all just be original, you know? Take your time. Everybody out there trying to rush, getting that little 20,000 to 30,000 from all them little record companies okay, <laughs> that they got to pay back. Like, and they ain't even going to make no money off their first album, so take your time with your record. Yeah. Uh -huh. Too many people out there rushing with their albums just thinking they're going to be large and want to be like a magazine, but it ain't like that. <laughs> Ren, Ren, do me a favor. On, on our television show, man, we try to kick them real information and knowledge so that the kids will know something. We try to give them the knowledge so that they know when they go into the music business that it ain't that easy. It ain't, man. Could you tell them what you meant by that? By usually the first album, you might not get no money. All right, the first. All right, a lot of people uh, be happy. All right, people be high thinking. Oh, everybody making records. I want to make a record. And then they go to a company and they throw like to somebody that ain't nobody like ten thousand, fifteen thousand, and they happy because they getting that upfront money and all that. You know what I'm saying? And they don't know they gotta pay it back. And then if you rush a record, it ain't and it ain't right. It ain't gonna sell. You gotta pay that money back. People don't know. The real things about the, the uh, music business. They think that you just, if you a, a black nigga on the street and you can just and stroll hard, you can make a record and cuss. You know what uh -huh, I'm saying? Uh -huh. Anybody, anybody can rap and cuss in a record. You know what I'm saying? There's people. If you think about it, there's people out there all day doing it. They ain't selling no records. You gotta know how to. You well, gotta. Riff, riff. Yeah. What makes your stuff as well as uh, as Eric as well as above the law? What makes y'all stuff sell? I mean, cause cause you know something. Let, let me jump in this in there. A lot of people had a lot of bull about Easy, but yo, he dropped another single and it done already went platinum. Eric, what what is the magic to what you do, man? Well, what, you know, how come after people talk all this garbage, your stuff is still selling? They must love you. You must have an image, man. What, what's Basically, up with that? it was because this man he produced Neighborhood Sniper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know, we put we we always put it like real, you know what I'm saying? We put People it on the never grew up in the street, don't know nothing about That's it. Right. Mm -hmm. And yeah, had had an and on. That's right. Fairy tale rapper. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, not not who not really gone through the experience I, I, the school. I, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna no, it ain't even it ain't even that. Cause I have the stuff I done said, I ain't never with it. Because you know something, one thing I'm trying, one thing I'm tired of doing is I'm tired 
of people giving interviews to people and they be all crazy and whatnot. So what, what could you tell them? You know, and another thing too, let me get this quick out. Because a lot of people are saying, yo, easy, me and my partners, blah, 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 the whole nine yards and stuff. But also at the same time, also at the same time, you got to remember, owner, businessman, owner. Look out for the new NWA shit. Coming out. Are y'all gonna come together? Are y'all gonna come together this Me, summer? Me, Ice Cube, Red, Yellow. Mm -hmm. That's it. And I'm producing we'll it. Together. Remember, it's the end of the world. And I'm producing this out. Check this out. Check this out. What we gonna do? While we getting on out of here, we gonna check out MC uh, uh, MC DJ Poof's uh, video. Get the fist with Cam, uh, uh, Mob Cube, um, Cypress Hill. All of them. It's a controversial new video out that only Underground Nation oh. got showing what's hey, really going on. Are you playing neighborhood sniper? I gotta get it from you, man. I gotta yeah, get it. No, 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 no because you know something, one thing I'm trying, one thing I'm tired of doing is I'm tired of people giving interviews to people and they be all crazy and whatnot. So what, what could you tell them? You know, and another thing too, let me get this quick out. Because a lot of people are saying, yo, easy, me and my partners, blah, 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 the whole nine yards and stuff. But also at the same time, also at the same time, you got to remember, owner, businessman, owner. Look out for the new NWA shit. Coming out. Are y'all gonna come together? Are y'all gonna come together this summer? Me, Ice Cube, Red, Yellow. Mm -hmm. That's it. And I'm producing we'll put it together. Remember, it's the end of the world. And I'm producing Check this out. Check this out. I want to thank y'all. I want to thank Eric Easy E right in the house for letting us be able to come down here and shoot this benefit for the homeless along with Greg Mack. I'll check it out. Y'all be cool. We out. It. Thanks, Easy. Hey. Chuck E. Booker, most definitely in the house. Chuck. You're a publisher as well as a composer and a songwriter. Right. Okay. So you ask for the publishing, how to be a publisher with them, that you don't have to copyright your music. You can just send it to the publisher and, I mean, you being the publisher, you can send it to the agency and that will automatically copyright your music. Is that true or not? That's true to a sense, but what you have to do is you have to get a, a copyright form. Once you get signed to either BMI or ASCAP, you have to make sure that you get a hold of these copyright forms, which you fill out the necessary information of the song that you've written. Once you've done that, then you send it in. But you just can't write a song and expect either one of these two companies to automatically copyright your song. You have to have the necessary forms in order to do that. So it's very important. I know that the music business is not that easy. Um, um, let me ask you this. What would you, how would you submit a demo to someone like yourself? For someone to submit a demo, like to a star, you know, like yeah. You well, what you do is um, you can get the necessary information, like from uh, the back of records, the back of albums. Mm -hmm. You can get you in can. contact. Oh, definitely, because like, say for instance, like for me, I'm with Atlantic Records. Right. If you see the back of my album, it says Chucky Booker affiliated with Atlantic Records, so and so, Rockefeller Plaza, New York. Here, you're a producer, you're a arranger, what uh, a manager? What is your most? What do you love? What is your love, man? I'd say uh, my best spot, I think, is writing music and playing. Yeah, that's, I think my first love is just to actually play the music and to create. That's where, you know, that's where it started first and that's where it's going to end. With your, with your hectic schedule, how are you able to continue to write good music? Is it techniques or is it still coming from the soul or you got a library this big or what? <laughs> well, actually, I do have a large library, but at the same time, you know, yeah, preparation, but also at the same time, it's, you know, creativeness comes, it's not something that you go to work from nine to five to do. It has to hit you naturally. So for me, I ha it just has to hit me naturally and whatever I'm doing at that point or whatever, I just try to write it down and save it till the, I have time enough to really work on it let you go you stay up point to the underground nation bam in i'm house. in the house i'm What's here the, the, new album? the new album is entitled nice and wild we out here we gonna go check it out let's go all right. All right. yeah yeah welcome back and of course that was a slamming video and we're gonna break off over here as we're in the soul train of uh, pre-party cooling show for a minute but that ain't no thing so uh, what's going on man i'm kicking it trying to kick this information on this show so we can let the kids know that the underground nation is real we don't have all the players in the house we got scorpio here 
you know about me and us, Loke and Ice T and all of us. My brothers Mario and Max. Yeah. The Sandy, what's up out there? Evil E, Hen G, that we was chilling last I say what's up to everybody out there. You know, Los Angeles, California, you know how we doing. I'm on the West Side Tribe. Peace to everybody out there. Got a new breed in the house. I got something new and I want you to check it out. And I appreciate he gave me the time for this interview. You know what I'm saying? Right here is Mr. Snoop Peacewood, Mr. Snoop Snoop Dog. What, what up? up, what up? I'm chilling. I just want to introduce our new video, Lil Ghetto Boy, coming at you on a gangster tech, baby. Really tough. Definitely. Hey, before you get on out, before you get on out of here, Snoop, are you coming out with something new, man? What's happening? I said, are you gonna be coming out with your own single album? You done blew up on Drake. Yeah, album, I'm coming know? out, I'm coming out in the middle, you know what I'm saying? This is my nigga right here, Warren G, my DJ. Uh, in the hell. What up? What? Yo, this is Warren G. You know? You know, yeah. Warren G Production 93. Me and Snoop Dogg. We don't get on that. Snoop, before you break, man, let me ask you something. What makes your style different compared to a lot of brothers that are out right now, man? I don't know. I try to keep it on a reality level. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm real with myself, so the shit I'm expressing is the shit I'm living, so it's just me. That's all it's to. Big baby Long Beach in the house, baby. Hey. Kicking it with my buddy, Freedom. Go uh, master blow up at this Yeah, time. yo yo's in the house once oh. again, yeah. Yo, check it out. Tell them to check out your new video, Get the Fist, with Boo and the rest of the family. Yeah, here's The Fist, by, produced by DJ Pooh. Yo-Yo's in the house. I love you with yeah. my crew in. We out here having a good time. Freedom, <laughs> the whole family's down with us, yo, and Soul Train and the whole nine yards. Now we blowing up on the underground nation. Everybody been here. Yo-Yo completed it, so thank you for coming on out. Thank you. Pooh, this one is for you, Aaron. All the fellas down at Dubai right. Records. Cam. Uh, who Ice else? Ice Cube. JD. King T. Yeah. Oh, there. Yeah, the whole right. next one. Cypress Hill. You know Everybody in the house. Yo, what's your new single coming out? IBW, and I just did the video today. So look out for it. The album is You Better Ask Somebody. It'll be out June. So look forward to it. Hey, we appreciate it, yo. I know you chilling. We appreciate it. Make sure we get a master on out to you. This is one of the baddest dancers here. That's right. You know, massive fat. We gonna let them go party. 500 of us out of 5,000. Suckers in the yard, DMC is in the housing. Crash and I smash, pass every class. You don't know the half cause you don't know the craft. My style is wild, not vile for a child. P9 style, buck wild on the aisle. Perform, enormous strong words are born. Can I get it, yo, because I got it going on. Now I'm going off on another subject. Daryl is a Mac, Joe is in the public. Love it, leave it, the mic MC sees it. Still raps don't kill or get ill as DMC gets ill on a posse with the mic in his hand. And take command, take the mic from the stand. Still, I'm ill, I'll wreck up your grill. Troop for the thrill and I will shoot to kill. From the beginning to the ending of the song. Can I get a show because I got it going on? <laughs> yeah, that was real smooth. Run, we got you once, man, but hit us twice, man. Now bust a step to me, do me, pursue me, you'll never knew me. You be sleeping and you slept on the step. Uh, now your crew be sweating me like you're sweating the sweat. Another group be this and D, now you're back on the set. I'm making them, taking them, breaking them off, just some one by one. You make a mistake and I'm thinking I'm soft, thinking run is the one. From 83 and ABC and me and DNA front. Now suckers, duckers from the ruckus, that's about to become DMC. The real flavor. The real flavor. Yo, tell me, what, what's the latest, uh, latest project y'all got out, Run? Well, we got the single out right now. The album's getting ready to come, too. The single is called Down With The King, produced by Pete Rock and CL Smooth. They're also rapping on this record, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the album's getting ready to drop, and we got many producers that helped us out on that, like Tribe Called Quest, EPMD. Um, Jermaine Dupri did a cut, and um, Bomb Squad did a qu cut, you know. A bunch of people helped us out. The album's definitely slamming. Uh, how come, or have you ever, how come you and L have never done a duet together? Um... Well, L, L wrote a record for us a long time ago, but we just never came together to do a record together. I don't know why, but it just didn't happen that way. But we're definitely good friends. We live in the same neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And maybe sometime in the near future we'll do something together, but it just hasn't come together as of yet. Feel it back, come rewind, it's about that time. Feel it whack, it's the swine, it's about that swine. Get your body fit and timber at the end of the set. Bet you beat your dad a teacher and the suckers a step. Peace. Coming at you real with the flavor from real, the rough, the rugged, and the ready run DMC.